If you are preparing for Power BI interview, watching this video will be helpful for you to confidently crack any interview. They'll ask, what is the difference between calculated column and a measure? Sounds simple, right? But here's what they are really checking. Do you actually work with data modeling? Do you understand DAX practically or just theoretically? Can you choose right tool for performance and functionality? Do you really know Power BI or just watch tutorial video? Have you worked with real data or not? So always give answer with example like this. A calculated column is like adding a new column in Excel. It gives you value for each row. Basically, calculated column is used when you need a row level calculations. And a measure is like a formula that gives you a total or a summary, like total sales or average profit. Means measure is used for aggregated values like sum or averages. For example, let's say you have a table with revenue and cost. Use calculated column to create new column called profit like this. Profit is equal to revenue minus cost. But if your boss asks, hey, what's the total profit last month? You will use measures. Total profit equal to sum of revenue minus sum of cost. Calculated column can slow down your big reports because calculated column increase data model size. While measures are memory efficient, hence measures are faster and more powerful. So when they ask you this question, they are not just testing your memory. They are checking if you actually use Power BI in real world or not. For more Power BI tips and tricks, don't forget to like, share, subscribe our channel. See you next time. Thank you.